What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, SOG. Before we begin the video, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Drop a comment at the end of the video with any thoughts or opinions on what we're going to talk about today. Today, I'm going to announce the gun that is replacing the Kanek Mate MC9. I'm not going to get too much into detail because I feel like I've dropped enough videos on my thoughts and uh, my roller coaster ride and my feelings and emotions over this thing. And today is the day I let you guys know what I decided to um, to swap it out with. Unfortunately, I was unable to feel comfortable enough to keep this in my EDC rotation, so I had to set it aside. Hopefully, it's just for now because I do love the gun. But let's go ahead and talk about what I picked up. Just a few weeks ago, I actually put up a poll and I asked you guys what you guys thought I would replace, what would replace my Canik MC9. I put up a few options and to my surprise, a lot of you guys actually picked the FN Reflex. And unfortunately, it's not the FN Reflex. Now, nothing against FN nor the Reflex, uh, but I just, you know, the FN I've, I've never been a huge fan of. And I just, uh, I did check out the gun and uh, it looked pretty cool, but I just figured it wasn't the time for me to pick that one up just yet, even though it's a new gun. Um, I actually picked up something different and you guys could probably tell by the stack of magazines I got over here sitting on my left side. The Glock 26 MOS. Um, man, I, I don't know of too many people who have the 26 MOS version, but I've heard nothing but good things about the 26 for a long, long time now. And to be honest, I was always kind of against it because of the thickness. To me, it didn't make sense why someone would make such a small, compact, micro-sized gun but blow it up in, in the width. It just didn't make sense to me. And I picked up the 43X instead of this to carry uh, concealed. I went through quite a few micros. I went through the Hellcat. I went through the P365XL. I went through the 43X. I went through the Canik Mate MC9. And then I landed on this. Now, the reason I landed on this was one, because the issue with this was I loved everything about it except the reliability. And because for me, reliability caused me to stay away from this, from carrying it, um, reliability, I thought Glock. And I said, you know what? The Canik is a little bit thicker than the rest of my Micro 9s that I've had. So maybe the 26 isn't as bad as I think it is. So I went to check it out and man, this thing is a baby, baby. This thing is tiny. It's puny, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. So you you know what I said? I was like, man, I'm going to go ahead and check it out. I'm going to get it, and I got it. <laughs> um, I didn't want to get the standard non-MOS. I don't know why. I'm not putting an optic on it, at least not to my knowledge at this point. I don't plan on it, but I like to have the option. Um, the thing that does suck about this is that there is no light rail. Uh, being that it's MOS and it's a Gen 5, it should come with that. But you know, whatever, that's Glock, right? Very basic, but very trustworthy weapons. On the other hand, you got Canning, very inexpensive, but it's got all of the bells and whistles. Now, <clears throat> in terms of thickness, the 26 is just a little bit thicker than the Canik MC9. I, I was kind of between this and the Shield Plus, because I've heard a lot of good things about Shield Plus as well. But I'm not a big Smith & Wesson guy. So I ended up going with this. And I don't regret it. I really don't. Um, I like how it looks. I like how compact it is. It reminds me a lot of the MC9. The one thing that I hate that it's missing, though, guess what? This trigger right here. Man, this trigger on the MC9, it's just, just I mean... And the reset on this thing is just ridiculous. That's it. That short. That's crazy. So I know it didn't come with it and I knew I was going to dread it. And I was like, man, that's that's crazy that I'm going to go from the MC9 to this. 
and it's going to be a completely different trigger but you know glock being so compatible with parts and offering so many aftermarket parts i said let's try out the glock performance trigger i'm not a huge fan of trying aftermarket parts on my guns i'm not sure why i usually try to stick if it's aftermarket i try to stick with the manu what manufacturers make um that's just me but you know i know there's a lot of you know i like i know there's a um like apex trigger and uh you know, I know there's a bunch of triggers out there, but I I don't know. That's just me. My my uh, personal preference is sticking with manufacturer-made stuff. Might not be as good as the aftermarket stuff, but I know it's going to be more reliable, I guess, is kind of what it, what's in my mindset. So I'm excited to have this, um, and hopefully that brings it a little bit closer to what this is. And um, hopefully I don't miss the MC9 as much. Because like I said, guys, I love the MC9, but man, it just... The reliability was just, that was a miss for me. And of course, what kind of Glock owner would I be if I didn't have a spare stick for the Glock 26 or any Glock at that, right? So anyways, I got this 26 Gen 5 MOS. I want to know what you guys think about this purchase. Was it a dumb purchase? Was it a good purchase? Um, you know, am I going to regret it? Uh, how, how do you think this shoots if you have one? What do you guys think about this trade-off between putting this aside and carrying this? I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hopefully, I get a chance to get those other guns that I had on that poll. I think it was the FN Reflex. It was the Shield Plus, And I don't remember the last. I think it was the CZ, if I'm not mistaken, the, the Micro CZ. So uh, I was interested in those. I want you guys to know that all of the ones I put on there were because I had a hard time making up my mind about which of those four I wanted to get. But I ended up with this and partly also because I have other Glocks and um, I know parts are you know compatible with this. So uh, that was that was kind of nice to have. Uh, so that also helped me make up my mind. So there you have it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. As always, stay blessed, man. Stay up. God bless you guys. And I'll see you guys.